Welcome to the Grand Hall Houses. I'm joined by Ma Moira McCaffrey. She is the VP of Research and Collections from the Museum of Civilization. How are you? I'm great, Sarah. How are you? I'm great, thanks. I've never seen this ex exhibit before. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, we're in the iconic Grand Hall. Mm -hmm. um, a quite a spectacular um, part, a recreation of houses on the northwest coast. Yeah. There's six giant houses. Uh, they were created by different Northwest Coast groups. Mm -hmm. um, we're walking right now toward the Haida and the Shimshan houses, and that's where we'll talk a bit about these amazing totem poles. Okay. Um, they are the real thing, as are the houses, but of course the houses were built when um, we built this uh, new installation for the museum okay. on this site. Okay, so when you say the totem poles are the real thing, what does that mean? Well, these are totem poles that uh, date back to um, really the turn of the century. Really? So, in other words, um, I should clarify, everything here is real. Mm -hmm. it, all of the houses were carved by expert Northwest Coast carvers and mm -hmm. artists. Um, they came and they worked with us to create these beautiful re reconstructions, recreations mm -hmm. of uh, older houses. The poles themselves once stood in front of Haida and Shimshan houses on the west coast. Really? How would they have carved the uh, massive poles? Well, these were carved using um, a variety of woodworking tools like adzes and files. It's really an amazing thing to see a carver work. Mm -hmm. um, once the trees brought down, uh, they, they shape everything out yeah. using kind of templates in order to get, um, you know, this perfectly symmetric layout and then they uh, begin working and roughing out the forms but as you can imagine you have to be an amazing visual artist yeah. to succeed in doing this without making mistakes <laughs> without ruining your pole of course and, and are totem poles solely pieces of art or, or do they mean more than that oh not at all they're they're very important um, aspects of community history and belief mm -hmm. so totem poles stood in front of houses in uh, some of them were great posts and uh, what they actually belong to specific families mm -hmm. and the stories that are held in the poll also belong to the family mm -hmm. so for most of these polls we're not sure what they mean today right however we are able to look at these different totem figures and understand something about mm -hmm. the stories they represent the thing I really like about um, studying totem poles and looking at them is that uh, Northwest Coast belief holds that humans and animals walked on the earth together right. and at one point they could talk to each other, they were part of the same world. Mm -hmm. Today they live in different worlds and we can't communicate as closely, but their belief is that we're still tightly connected. So for visitors to the Grand Hall, it's a real chance to think about, you know, how important um, that interconnection is with the natural and animal world. Excellent. Yeah, there's okay. a lot to think about when you look at, at, at the stories that are held in these poles. Certainly. So if you head to the Museum of Civilization website, you can take a look at all of the different information and the exhibits that are available. The giant games that we had uh, spoke about a little bit earlier in the show are here in the Grand Hall as well. So there's something for uh, all sizes of families and age groups. Absolutely. Stick around, there's still plenty more to come from the Museum of Civilization this morning on CTV Morning Live.